for some people but uh, if you know me you know I'm pasty pale so uh, yeah <laughs> they're not they're more uh, blushes on me um, and number one in that category would actually be this MAC mineralized skin finish this is in stereo rose I'm sure on a very dark skin tone this would actually be like a blush or some people might use it as like a bronzer enhancer or something but I'm um, sorry, might use it as a highlight, but uh, on me this is definitely a blush. Um, because it's it's pretty peachy. A very shimmery br blush, and, yeah, but uh, yeah, way too dark for me to use as a, um, a highlight or anything like that. And it's the same with this. This used to be in stripes. This is the Inglot multi-system highlighting powder. Um, it's just supposed to be 85 and I think they gave me the wrong one because they were supposed to give me the light one and I don't think this is the light one um, because when I mix them all together it's actually pretty dark for a highlighter on me. So I tend to use it more as a blush topper instead when I use it, but yeah, it kept on getting hard pan, so I had to repress it. Um, I have this one from Lacura, which I bought because I was doing a full face of Lacura. It's supposed to, I think, be a highlighter and a blush, but I just mix them together. This uh, actually it says duo blush, so soft rose and rose. I would just use them together. It's actually quite an awkward container. I kind of wish I could get it out and put it in the Z palette because it's kind of awkward. Uh, this in here is a pigment, uh, like a mineral blush. This is strawberry from the Cosmetic Kitchen. No, it is not an essence all about my power. <laughs> I used all of that. Um, it's actually quite a nice blush, but oh, man, I tell you, mineral blushes, like loose blushes, are a mess. Um, I have another Lacura one. This one is in Frosted Rose, so obviously this one is shimmery. Unlike the other one, which was just a... Pretty pigmented too. So that is that one. Um, I have one that I've hit pan in. This is the L O the LOL or L O L Coral Blush. I hit pan in this last year in one of my panning projects in this side. Because this one is just a bit too bright most of the time. <laughs> I have to be super careful with it. And this one's got this really gorgeous gold shimmer in it. I actually don't mind a shimmery blush. I'm not like some people who only want a matte blush. Uh, this in here, <laughs> repressed. Uh, this is the Physician's Formula Nude Wear. That's the one that comes in like, it's like a square block with four in it. And I repress them all together because one of them broke. Um, and now it's just like this peachy blush, but it's in kind of an awkward container now. Um, I will probably repress it at some stage into, maybe if I use up all of this one, I'll repress it into the, I don't know, something. This is the NYX Mosaic Blush in Plummy. I actually finished a highlighter version of this a um, couple of years back. But this, even though it looks like it's got brown and stuff in it, it just comes out as a soft purpley blush when you mix it all together. 
This one is supposed to be a face blush. It literally says it on the back and it's in bronze. I mean, who makes a face in, like, it's straight up orange. Looks orange in the camera. It's not quite that bad. But it's um, too warm for a contour. So you really don't have any choice but to use it as a blush. Unless you're really warm toned and you wanted to look orange like an oompa loompa. I don't know. Each to their own. <laughs> this is the Chi Chi uh, Pink Peach Mosaic blush. This is really pretty. I haven't used this much. got it from Tamara. It's been in my collection. This one is from Shop Miss Egg. This is the Santi. It doesn't have a name. It's number six. It's very dark. But actually really pretty. You just got to be careful. Um, and I have this one which is also from Shop Mints A. Um, it's supposed to be a knockoff of the Physician's Formula one probably. The Happy Blushes. Um, this one doesn't have a name either. It's number one. Um, and it had a spray, over spray on it, which I took off. And now it just... <laughs> this is one that I might actually repress and see what happens because the light colour comes out too much. I'm going to put that one to the side. I might have a play with that one. I do a repressing video just for the fun of it. This is the Savvy Graduated Blush in pink. So it has a bright pink in the middle and then it's actually almost cream over the side. It's almost like highlighter colour and almost white on this side. But you're meant to swirl them all together and you get like a soft pinky one. So, that's that one. These hat, this makeup wipe I'm using is actually not very good. I do not recommend. Um, I think it came from Daiso. Do not recommend. Uh, I have this one from Revlon. This came from Tamara. This is Playful Plum Revlon. And look how dark that is. <laughs> One swipe. I would have to be super careful with that. It's gorgeous, but yeah, one would have to be super careful. And then I've got this one from Calvin Klein, which is kind of similar. This is Berry Shimmer. And you saw I just did one swipe. That's how much I got up with one swipe. This is super pigmented. Another one to be super careful with, but it is bloody gorgeous, I have to say. And then I have this Makeup Geek one. I have a couple more Makeup Geek ones that I got from Tamara J. This one is Love Affair. Again, this, I don't know if you've ever tried a Makeup Geek blush, but one needs to be careful. <laughs> they are super pigmented. Um, and then I have this one, which is from LA Colors, which is in blushing pink, which in comparison is super duper pale and not quite, it looks really bright, but it doesn't have the payoff. You have to work at it a bit more to get the payoff. difference between a really good blush and a not so good blush. The back of my hand looks like somebody beat me up. Clean those off. I uh, have this Jordana one. This is Rose Silk. It's just a really good basic light rose. It's not super pigmented but good for playing with so it's not like yeah, you don't have to worry about overdoing it, basically. And I have this uh, Physician's Formula Mineral one in Rosy Glue. 
This has like a weird brush thing in the bottom of it. Um, but it's like one of those modelled ones which you just mix together. It comes out quite. Got to be careful not to overdo it like I just did. <laughs> and we have this baked blush, which as I'm looking at it, I realise I used a lot more of it last year than I realised um, when I was attempting to pan it. This is Wild Blossom. Um, this was a baked one. It's almost flat, which means there's probably not that much product left on there. But this is a really gorgeous... I had to really build it up because it's a bit pale but it's a really gorgeous shimmery pink I wore that a lot last year <laughs> a lot a lot a lot uh, I have this other blush from LA Colors this is in what they call natural which means that it's um, you can't really tell that it's there unless you really build it up but it's a nice uh, um, kind of neutral one. You know, everybody occasionally likes a neutral. Alright, we have this Face of Australia. This is super bright pink. This is in Hello Dolly. And, like, pow. Have some hot pink. Hmm. Well, that wasn't as impressive as I was thinking it was going to be. Really have to it looks like it would be like a really poppin' pink, but um, one really has to work to get something out of that. Wow, well, that's good to know. This is a Laura Mercier Golden Mosaic Shimmer Block. This is the only Laura Mercier product that I own. I got it from Tamara J. Um, I think it's supposed to be like a bronzer. I probably will end up using it more like an eyeshadow because it's... Uh, That is not a bronzer on my skin tone. Um, yeah, but it is really gorgeous. I don't know why it's in with the blushes, but it is. It's another one from Shop Miss Egg. This is a Malibu Glitz blusher. There's literally what it's called. Yes, blusher. I can't remember what colour it is. Oh, look how pretty that is. Oh. Ooh. Super pretty peachy pink which you have to work out to build up, but that's okay. I don't mind that. That's really pretty. I obviously haven't played with it. <laughs> um, I have this one from Australis, which is called Show Us Some Cheek. That's how you know it's a blush. Um, in Dreamy, which is basically a natural, natural kind of colour. It obviously oh, it has like a little mirror underneath the blush, which is kind of weird. It's really clunky packaging. Um, and we have this one from the Cosmetic Kitchen, which is a pressed one rather than a mineral one, which is actually really gorgeous. This is in a Cy Berry, but it's another one of those ones that you kind of have to work out in order to get any payoff. This is probably one that I should attempt to pan because I'm going to have to use so much to actually show. It's a good thing to pick for a blush in particular. Um, and the last one in this video is going to be this one, which is actually a trio. Um, it's got a blush in it. Uh, this is the Kate Moss Coral Glow. Um, I haven't actually used it. I don't even think I've swatched it. It's like brand new. Brand new, never been touched. So, you guys get to um, experience with me what it is like. Because, as I said, I've never even swatched this. Wash, contour, highlight. Wow, that was disappointing. The hell? 
the contour is not bad. I can work with that contour. How is that a highlighter? Blimey. Um, okay. Uh, to say I'm disappointed is um, an understatement. Um, <laughs> but uh, that is it for my blush video. If you want to subscribe, click the button down there, leave me a thumbs up if you like makeup type videos, click the bell if you want to get notified of when I upload new videos, and leave me a comment down below, I try to respond to all comments, and I'll see you in my next video. See ya!